Six months after Governor Murphy made the sale of cannabis for recreational use legal in New Jersey, the state's Cannabis Regulatory Commission unveiled its first set of rules for how the industry will run. At the forefront for the commission are equity and safety. Nice. Laying down the guidelines over a virtual public hearing Thursday where more than 1,000 viewers logged on, the commission revealed rules that favor micro-businesses, which have 10 or fewer employees, where they will only be responsible for 50% of licensing fees. Among those who get priority in obtaining a license, applicants with past cannabis-related criminal offenses, or those who live or lived in an economically disadvantaged area. So in an effort to really make up for uh, you know, past harms uh, and that ha have occurred in, in cannabis prohibition, uh, we want to prioritize the people who have uh, really uh, shouldered those, those burdens. Also, a criminal conviction will not necessarily make an applicant ineligible. As of now, there are no set limits on licenses for delivery, wholesale, distribution, or retail of cannabis. However, the state put a cap on marijuana growers at 37. As of now, roughly one-third of the state's 565 municipalities have opted in to take part in the market. Among the biggest cities on board, Jersey City, Newark, and Elizabeth. The regulations roll out now gives the green light to entrepreneurs like Alexandria Alcala, who will be applying for a Class 5 retail license to open up a dispensary retail shop in downtown Jersey City. I do expect, um, you know, all of our local leadership, our advocates, I, I hope that we can all come together and find a middle ground where they just do the right thing by, you know, the, the communities that have been affected adversely by cannabis specifically. Now that the regulations have been set, the panel can now move forward and select a date when sales can begin here in New Jersey as per state guidelines. It must pick a date within 180 days of today.